Whoosh. Oh, look at that, mate. Love it. Hi, guys. Right, today's video. Hi, guys. Hi. Guys. We're doing a uh, YouTube giveaway. Um, I haven't told Adam, Adam about this, but we are exclusively going to give away, yeah, it's, yeah, exclusively, a set of DeWalt um, tools. <laughs> Adam don't know about it yet. I'm, I'm joking, by the way. <laughs> I'm not giving them away. No, that's Adam's. He's a mine. Maybe when we get to about 5K, we might do something like yeah, that. Yeah, maybe you could get me some Milwaukee fuel stuff and I'll give these away. Yeah, could do, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, and, sounds and good. We, and we'll secretly rig it so I win it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Win, win. <laughs> Isn't there laws about that, like competition laws of... I didn't say that, Adam. Oh, 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 come on. Sake. Come on, right, what are we doing today, Adam? Right, so we've got a lovely mirror to open this nice bathroom. One of these fancy uh, ones that light up. And there he is, we're putting him over there. We do. So we've done all our measurements, yeah. we've marked him up. Uh, we've checked with the customer which height she wants it at, which is fine. So we've done all our markings there. We've drawn around our one gang metal back box because we're going to put a fuse connection unit in there. Why are we putting a fuse connection unit in, Adam? So we can isolate it. Why, Adam? There, just in case if the customer's lights ever go out, we don't want to take this to go out as well, or vice versa. Yeah, or if she needs to work the other way around. <laughs> but. Uh, one day this will go faulty, okay? Hundred percent. Yeah, it will do. It's same as everything. It only has a certain lifespan, and, and to save, months. yeah, to save, um, you know, losing all the lights, we're going to put in a fuse connection unit just there with a switch. So when it does go forward at some point, you could just literally just flick it. It's going to be behind the mirror, so you just need to lift the mirror off slightly. Just flick it. We'll show you afterwards. Like flicking stuff, don't you? Yeah, yeah. we've done a, That's our drill holes for the. There and there for our mirror. So we're going to pick up a feed in the attic. And there is a hole around here somewhere uh, between the two walls, and we're going to drop a feed straight down to the consumer unit. Consumer unit. Yeah, to, to a consumer unit. Right, a mirror. mini consumer. <laughs> a little tiny one. Adam, shut up! <laughs> You're making me look stupid. <laughs> stupid. Adam. Adam. So we're going to. We're going to. We're going to do that, and then yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you know what we're doing. Question zones, stuff like that. Yeah, what, Adam, what zone of the sink is this in? Uh, We've got a sink here, don't forget. We have got... So on that, on that. We've got... Two. We've got... It, it is 78 That's outside. centimetres above the sink. What zone is it? In, zone, with, zone with two. With regards to the sink. Zone two, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, I think You're so. You're one at cottage. Oh, you just hurt me. You're the one at college, Sorry, mate. Uh, without, I, I would normally refer to my on-site guide. I think it's zone two of the mad. You, have you, do you have your on-site guide with you? No, it's on my desk from studying. So, your, let's, let's just get this right. Your on-site guide that you're supposed to carry... Where's your on-site? On-site is on your desk indoors. Yeah, because I've been practicing for college. But you're not at college now, are you? You're no, on-site. No. You're a silly billy, aren't you, Adam? Where's your on-site guide? My own on-site guide is in the in the van. Why with, is it with, on site? <laughs> it is on site. If ever I need it, it's in the van in my um, college bag that I take into college, and I know if I need it, I can go and get it. I don't have to go ten miles away to my castle to go and get it, do I? My castle. I've got a castle. So, yeah, I will tell you the answer. Zone two. And I will put up a picture somewhere. Yeah. And. The zones for the sink don't exist. They're not. There's no zones. It's out of zone. There's no zones around the sink. Some it's some people say there is. Some people say so there isn't. So we could have a socket there. You could if it was if it wasn't in a bathroom. Then yeah, you could. You could have it. I mean, yes and no. Not yes because of the zones, but you wouldn't have a. Uh, a socket there because of the sink and you need to be like about 300 mil away so what zone is it it's outside yeah, it, there's no there's no zones over a sink so zone, zone two go is it zone two that goes up to 60 centimeters from the bar from the edge of the from the edge yeah That's, i can't remember this is this is where it comes in <clears throat> i can't remember the exact zones and the measurements and that and it's okay not to know that get the onside guide. that's why i go to onside guide 
I'm rubbish at remembering figures. So yeah. I know I know that zone zero is in the bath and zone yeah. one is you know and zone zero there. goes up to this two two point two five meters, doesn't it? I think no, that's only in a shower. Is that in a shower? Yeah. Zone zero is literally where the water is. So right. if, where the water is there. And then it starts zone one then, doesn't zone it? Zone one, yeah. And then zone two comes up to I think sixty uh, centimeters. I think it is sixty out and then Outside of that is outside of the I think it's 2.25 height in the yeah, shower. Yeah, that's right. You can have the luminaire, can't you? Like, see, here's a good example. Yeah. Where you've got a luminaire, and which is outside zone. And what IP rating is that? 65. 65. And what IP rating do you need to have? Uh, IP 60. I know this because I've done it a couple of days ago, so it's still, still fresh in my mind. Is it IP 6X? No, what does the six mean in the six X? Water. water. No, IP six X means dust. It's IP X six. IP X six. Yeah. So is it IP sixty five? No, it's IP X five. IP X five. For where that is, it needs to be IP X five. Ah, because it means the first one doesn't matter. It's because because the first is dust, isn't dust, it? Dust. Yeah. Yeah. IP X five because so it's got to have a five on it. Because you can reach it with the um, splash. The doo -doo -doo. What do you call it? Shower head. When you're splashing yourself down. Splash yourself down, yeah. So basically, if it's got five after it, after the for the second digit, you can use it there. It's I, I looked at this the other day, I'm sure I'm right. If I'm not, then don't shoot. Don't, don't shoot me because I don't really have a regular book on my backside. Yeah. Um if it's got jets of water, i.e. a shower head, it's IPX5. If it didn't have a shower head in it like that, it'll be IPX4. Right, okay, so it depends on the I'm shirt. sure that's right. But this is the thing, if you was actually doing that install now, we'd, yeah. we'd get the book out. Yeah, we'd I, check it, I would. I'd, I'd check the book and make sure it was within regs. Yeah. I, I usually install something like IP68 or something like that in that sort of yeah. position, so I know I'll be covered anyway. So. Oh, it's only as good as the person that installs <coughs> it anyway, isn't it? Mm -hmm. If you anyway. have it in IP65 and not install it right, then it wouldn't be worth the paper it's written on. Exactly. Think about it. Adam. Yes, mate. Is this going to do itself, or are you going to watch it and just... <laughs> I don't know, do you reckon I'll work it? Are you going to Uri Geller it? Yeah, like that. Like my sister's dog, it just stares at the wall like that. Right, should we put headphones on? Or? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, nice and deep hole. That's what we like. So we've got, we've got a noggin just here. Mm -hmm. You should get through that to um, <coughs> get above. Cubs are good, in. Yep. And then nice. we can feed our cable from yeah. here, can't we? Oh, rods. Look at, look at Doc's long rod. Good, that is really handy, that. CK, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, we got some, um, let's get some rods. DTR, didn't we, now, all CK stuff. All right, Dean. Had a, had a bright idea, haven't you? Nothing. Converted a potentially a tricky situation well, into our benefit. Well, yeah. You know, and how did we do that? By, sack, by sacking Adam. For goodness sake, the amount of times I've been sacked by this man and rehired five minutes later, I think it's probably more than than you've had hot dinners, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, noggin. Noggin there. Uh, what we've decided to do. Noggin runs like that all the way across. It's there, so that's our noggin. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna screw into there and then it's going to give us more support on the mirror. Yep. Good oh, idea. No, actually. Feel a good idea. Not just a good looking gen, is he? He's, look at that. He's got brain in there as well. Yeah. And I don't call him Dr. Tronkin for no reason. <laughs> okay, let's do some work. We're going to use our rods to get it um, from the cavity 
up top mm -hmm. into where this is. And it's nice and deep in here as well, isn't yeah. it? So we've got lots of space. Dry line back box, Doctor. Yep, that's what's needed, isn't it? Yep. I'm going to put the magnet on this side. It's lovely. Why are you filming the wall? Why not? I'm <laughs> sure an idiot. <laughs> hey, I'll have you know, I'm at 95% of my science and principles, I'm not an idiot. Gets through there. Lovely jumble of you. Put on some one millage. One mil, please. So, collabs. Who we got a collab coming up with? Got a collab coming up with. Who have we got a collab with? We've got one that's in the pipeline. They know, they know who they are, but it's taking ages. Come on. What have we got planned for today, Adam? So, Dean, what we've got planned for today is doing this mirror job now, which is a lovely job for a lovely customer. And then... Regular customer. Regular. Thank you. One of Dean's uh, regulars. And then we've got... Um, and we, we've got the afternoon off, haven't we? But for a good we, reason. We have. But for a good reason. And that reason is we have an interview with Chris at the Skullmore Group. It's going to be fun, isn't it? It's going to be good. Everyone's been on there, haven't they? Anyone who's anyone has been on, on uh, Chris's uh, channel. So we're pleased, aren't we? Yeah. Excited, actually. Yeah. yeah, he approached us and said, yeah. can we... Um, Do an interview. Yeah, an interview. And also, top, top news, breaking news. What's we the first thing we have uh, been speaking to Tradify. <gasps> what could be happening next? I wonder... Oh, is it a discount code? Dr. 10. Is it actually? Well, not yet. But by the time it just comes up, I'm sure it will be. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to set up my own one and call it Doctorify. Doctorify. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Electrify. That'd be a good one. I'm trademarking that. No, nope, we've already done it. Electrify. Electrify. That'd be a good company name, actually, wouldn't it? Electrify. Right. I'm going up. Can you turn all the lights off? Because then what I'm going to try and do is find a permanent feed, not a switch feed. Well done, Adam. I know how I like switch works. Goodness me, the sarcasm coming out of this one today, guys, is ridiculous. God. Once you get past 50, you start getting grumpy, don't you? Shut up, Adam. <laughs> well, I'm going up. Yeah, let me get you. It's going to be awkward, this one. So I've got you, mate. So what we're doing is we're trying to find where the uh, supply goes down to where we, that Adam has just drilled that fuse connection unit. One bob, one game back box. I think it's going to be there. Okay, so now we've got a hole. This is where we do our fishing. See what we catch. Oh, have we got something? Have we got something? No. No. <clears throat> Keep wiggling it around. Wiggle it around. Yeah, I've got it, I've got it. Feed it through. All right. Yeah, I can fill it. Can you feed the cable through the hole? No, we didn't get it. Oh no, oh no I lost it. Oh, oh mate. You look like you're a little bit yeah. worse for there then. What, what's happening? So we wired up the, um, the upstairs feed. We found a, a lighting feed and we tapped off of it. Which is up there. Yeah. You can see we come down there. Um, where you go box it where the right ray goes with a non-maintenance box. <laughs> maintenance, uh, free. maintenance free box with the um, screw in the hot screw in it wasn't a light box it was not it was a maintenance free box with a cable cable oh. cable tie around it uh, all way goes and all to the right um, amps anyway done that feed coming down in and that that is permanent live and which we will, we will switch with the fuse connection unit now with the confused connection unit, a little tip. Love the I hate these BG ones, but what else can you do, you know? Buy I tried the others. Buy a different brand. 
Maybe when we do scale yeah. more, they might give us click products. What brand do you recommend for fuse connection units? I don't want to go stupidly expensive because some are really expensive. What do you reckon though? Skullmore click. I like Skullmore. I don't. Wink, wink. <laughs> so right, what I do is I like to mark up where the ins go. And you just put a little line. A little line, in. just so, because these BG ones, they're, the terminals are all over the place, yeah. Oh, that's what my, and that was my question really, to you, wasn't it? It really annoys me, Just yeah. now, like, it was a head fudge. Yeah, well, so I do I do that, so I know that's on the um, and then of course, the permanent CPC uh, CPCs get both of them in there. And that's it, just a little tempo there. Learn of the day. Adam's just made a new feature. What's this new feature called, Adam? Dog's top tip. Right, right. What you got for us? Adam's just fitting up this. Uh, what's it called, Adam? Fuse connection unit. Fuse connection unit. Um, yeah, it's alright, not too bad I suppose. If you look at the um, cord grip, it's not really doing much, you know. Even though it's fully in, it's fully in, it to fully BG done. spec. Fully done up, Yeah, but it's not doing much. Uh, oh, so take that cable grip, there's a reason there's a little lip on there. Take it out and flip it over and that will grip onto the cable. Dog's top two. <laughs> What's the new feature, Adam? Dog's top tip. When you're working over a sink, a bath, or indeed a shower or toilet, um, always make sure the sink is plugged. Because what can you do, Adam? And what have you done just now? Dropped the screw. But because for fudge sake. But because the sink is um, plugged. plugged up, you're not losing the, the screw, are you? Nah, dog's top tip. Dog's top tip. What have we done? Yo, so, so, we've turned him around and now he grips. Yeah, that one, actually, that looks wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> now the grip, now the cool <laughs> grip is working. So what are we gonna do before we energize it, Adam? What are we going to do? We're going to fit, fit it to the wall first with the screws. We're going to test it. Obviously, we're going to get a quick it. ZS. Quick ZS, and then off to where? McDonald's? Yeah, Nottingham, Pub Noy. Yeah, actually, we might. <laughs> we're going to be a bit naughty today. I think we're going to go and go to the pub. Got a Skullmore interview, and we're going to nip to the pub after that, I think. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. Ben, Ben, Ben. So, yeah, we're going to do a quick ZS. Check the RCD, and we won't oh, film sorry. that because we've done that so many times. We're gonna do that, and then what are you gonna do before you energise it? Well, after we've tested it. Yes, after you've tested it, before you've energised it. Tell the customer. No, well, before you, yeah. <laughs> we need to change the fuse, don't we, Adam? Yes, so we need to make sure that the fuse is appropriate for the circuit. So we're gonna do a bit of uh, mass, check the power rating on this, do a bit of PIV, mm -hmm. get the current rating, and then put the appropriate fuse size in. What are we doing here, Adam? So we're doing a bit of mass. We know PIV. So we all know power is in watts. What? Power is in what? In what? In what? 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 Current is in. Amperes. <laughs> it's in all brown. Amperes. And volts is in volts. So. Named after who? Volt. I don't know who Volt is. Voltaire. Name. Voltaire. Like Ampere. And, and James Watt. Watt. It's James and, Watt, wasn't it? And what? Water. Water. <laughs> so, we know that the power is 36.9 watts. Mm. Right. Yep. And we know the voltage is 230 volts RMS because we always go on the RMS value, right? Mm. Now, to get the amperes, the current that we need to um, calculate, we divide 36.9 divided by 230. Now, let's, this one's for Math Man. I'm gonna get the... Uh, why is he called Math Man? I don't know, Math Man, comment below why you called Math Man. Why are you called Math Please. Man? Right, so, scientific oh, calculator. Scientific. Who told you about that? Math Man. Love a bit of math, man. Right. right, so we're going to do 36.9 divided by 230. 
equals 0.16 amps. 0.16 amps. So, so per what, one amp. What size fuse are we going to put in? 0.16. What size fuse are we going to use for that? We can get one amp in there. Unless you're DIY Dave, then you use 13 amps. <laughs> yeah. But well, you, we, you can get one amp. So the amount of in installations there. we go to when we're doing a <coughs> an ICR, where it's got just a 13 amp fuse for everything. Because they just don't, yeah. they don't take... Oh, it's when Dave's over. done it, isn't it? Or yeah. Graham. Sorry, Graham. Right, we've already put our one amp fuse in the fuse connection unit. Take a word for it. Or don't. You know, we don't really give a, give a sausage, but yeah. Don't give a silly sausage. And yeah, we're now we're going to put it up. Word of the day. So he's in there, right? Yeah, switch him on. Let's switch it on. Right, come on, because it's not on. Don't drop it, Adam. And there we go. Perfectly not straight. I put him on once. So I don't want to find him on the other. There you go. And just to make sure, we're going to put our spirit level on top. And we're not going to leave him there like Dean always does. And as you can see, <laughs> yep, that's yeah, yeah, perfect. That's good. Now we take off our nice. Always do this last, otherwise you're going to have grubby prints all over it, and you might even scratch them. We'll need that sticker in there just until the customer knows that there's a light switch underneath. I'm going to go and energise it. Right, now let's see if Adam's any good at his job. How do we switch it on? Whoosh! Ah, <gasps> oh, look at that, mate. Love it. That's all right, isn't it? Oh, I'm getting one of them. I'm going to get one of them. Oh, they are mint. Now, Adam, what role do you play in this um, partnership, what do we call it? Oh, that's a good question. I'm, I'm the, the old guy that comes out with you. No, you tidy up and make the tea. <laughs> We've had our coffee. Now you can tidy up. Yeah, I don't mind tidying up. I'm no, clean. listen, we always <laughs> mix, mix and match, we, you know. We're but, both tidy. But seriously, Adam, tidy this rum shop. Gladly. Let me get some coffee and I'll tidy him up. I'm well happy with that. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? So this is our mirror, final little bit. Nice mirror installed, nice and clean, blah, blah, blah. I love it. I love it, look, look. Oh, how good is that? Uh, oh, yeah. We also need to say RIP to our rod that we left in the back of the wall because he got stuck and we couldn't get him out, could we, Adam? Nope. Couldn't get the rod out. Rod. He was oh, well in and he just. Got a thing out there. Yeah. So we lost our, you know, one of them bendy rods, the white white ones that get wee rods. And the flaccid bend. rod. Yeah. Need to get another one or two of them. I don't know. It's good, isn't it? Love it, mate. I want one. Let's go, because we've got a Chat an interview to go to. So guys, last thing of the day, what we're going to be doing is having a little chat to, who are we chatting to, Adam? Skullmore Group. Skullmore Group. Everyone who's everyone has been on there. We're looking forward to it. You can see, I'm going to turn the camera around, you can see. There we go. Skullmore. Hello, everyone. This is Ben here at SGTV. Hey. It's been a pleasure to have Dean and Adam from Dr. Electrical, and I've been joining them on some videos, so please make sure you check them out. We'll see you again. Cheers. So we're pretty much done, guys. Uh, thanks for watching us today. It's been a good day. One thing left to say, Adam, and that is... Like. Comment. Share. Prescribe! prescribe. <laughs>